Hi everyone, today I'm bringing some pretty exciting news for the keto community, so editor, drum rolls please. That's right, now you can use the Kittle's pen tool directly from your iPad with an Apple Pencil or your finger. So if you're an iPad user like me, go ahead and start experimenting with the Kittle's pen tool capabilities on mobile. While we still don't have the Kittle app available on the App Store, you can go ahead and type kittle.com on your browser and use Kittle on mobile. You can rest assured that we are constantly working on improving the user experience for everyone, including those who are creating some pretty cool stuff on their phones or on their iPads. Now, if you don't have a Kittle account yet, this is the perfect time to start. Go ahead and click on the link in the description below to try Kittle for free. All right, now, as promised, let's explore the pen tool on the iPad. Okay, so we have Kittle on the iPad open, and we're going to jump straight into a project. I'm going to go ahead and open the Elements menu to look for a vector element. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in simple terms, a vector element is one that is made of anchor points and paths, therefore can be edited with a pen tool. And it's great for things like illustrations and logo designs because they don't lose quality when scaled up or scaled down. I'm choosing this cute dog doodle illustration, so let's start editing. If you double tap on an element, you'll be able to see the anchor points and paths I was talking about and added them. You can delete points. So as you see, I am deleting the dog's eyes just by clicking on the anchor points. You can add points, you can draw new shapes. You know what? Actually, never mind. This looks terrifying. So let's bring back their eyes. Oh my God, poor little puppy. Continuing. As I was saying, you can draw shapes with the pen tool by connecting anchor points, just like I'm doing right now. I'm drawing a cute little spot on the dog's cheek to be part of the illustration. And if I double tap on it again, I can drag anchor points. I can adjust the curvature. I can add and delete points and tweak my illustration around. Okay, I think this is pretty cute. And you're also free to change the colors on whatever you draw with the pen tool since it's a vector shape. You can also create shapes on your iPad and mask images to it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the wobbly shape I created for the dog's doodle. And um, I'm gonna put it on another artboard. And I'm just gonna grab a random image from the image library and place the image on top of the shape and tap and drag the pen tool so both elements are selected. Now, all I need to do is click on the three dots and select use as mask. Boom, masked. If I double tap on the screen, I'm able to edit the image masked. And if I go ahead and click on the pen tool icon, I can edit the shape itself. Pretty cool. You can do the same using text. So I'm going to go ahead and add a text box here and I'm going to type her text, hello kiddo. And I'm going to change the font so it's nice and bold and resize and adjust the spacing. So now we have a nice big headline here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the three dots again and select outline text. When you do this, you transform your text into a vector element. So now we can double tap our text and play around with the anchor points in each character, just like in every vector element. I'm going to merge the text all together using the shape builder here. And I'm just going to adjust some stuff, tweak it around. You can change colors if you want, since it's a vector shape now. And we can also mask images to it like this. You can also doodle your own stuff from scratch. As simple as that, I'm going to grab the pen tool and write Duda, which is my name. So yeah, that's just a little cute example on how you can use the pen tool to add personality to your projects. And last thing is how you can vectorize elements and tweak them with a pen tool. So here I have a heart shape that is a raster image, meaning that it's made of pixels and not anchor points. So we can't just double tap and use the pen tool to add it, but that's an easy fix. All you need to do is hit the vectorize button and there you go. Now it's a vector shape and you can double tap on the element and start adjusting the anchor points. 
thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're a pen tool user or not so much of an illustrator yourself and comment what you'd like to see next. We're always reading to your feedbacks and your comments on how to make Kiddo a better space for creatives every day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Kiddo tips and graphic design insights. See you in the next video. Bye.